Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I was gonna show you how to live stream and uh, how to do it with little to no budget. So you don't need a whole lot of money to get started. And um, especially if you're gonna be starting for the very first time, you wanna keep it as practical as possible. You don't wanna overcomplicate things. God bless you. And you don't wanna actually make it so that it's gonna be harder for you to afford all these expensive items just to make it quality because quality doesn't matter and this is why i use the quotes quality doesn't matter because you still have to work towards building up what quality actually turns into so what i mean by this is that the more you start live streaming and the more you start making videos the the better you're going to get at it and your quality is going to increase as you do that as well as, you know, you can start investing into yourself to buy better equipment. You should definitely start with keeping your equipment as low as possible. So let's say you own a PlayStation. And um, this is how I kind of got started into live streaming. I started live streaming onto the PlayStation. All you literally need is a microphone. And the microphone that you can start using uh, you can use the one that actually comes with the PlayStation, you know, that little dangle one that, that you can kind of just throw on your ear and that's it. Like you literally, that's all you need to get started. The reason why I, I tell you to keep it practical is because you, you definitely want to practice, like I said earlier. So the, the only way for you to practice and to actually see if you like doing this is by actually doing it and seeing how it works for you. Because first things first, when you start live streaming, you're not going to see the viewership that you're hoping for. You're not going to be the next ninja overnight because ninja didn't make it overnight. He worked his ass off to get to that point. Everybody starts at zero followers and you have to work towards getting those followers. And the way you do it is by ultimately live streaming, making short clips, making tutorials, making videos that would actually help your community. That's the way you really gain a lot of followers and the way you gain more people watching your stuff. But as far as the PlayStation, keeping it as practical as that is really good. Um, I really recommend you guys buy a computer because uh, once you buy a computer, you can advance your game a lot more. So when it comes to computer streaming, I use the, the program, it's called OBS, which uh, I'm gonna be showing right here. So this is my, my camera setup on my, um, on my OBS software. So basically I have the green screen behind me, which you see right here with the, the camera but I'm also using the, the webcam. So during my live streams, I have my webcam and I have my microphone. Uh, let me just show you my setup so you can kind of get an idea. This is all, I, I'm telling you, when I tell you about keeping it practical, this is literally all you need to do is just keep it as simple as, as just getting a quick little bullshit $10 microphone you get at Best Buy or on Amazon or something. Keep it very, very cheap. So this is the microphone that I have. It's a it was like $19 and change. I got it at Guitar Center and um, it was on sale and I just decided to pick it up. I don't even know the brand name, I'll be honest. I just, I just saw it was 20 bucks and I picked it up. This, I have this going into my, uh, my interface. So this is a Behringer. This was $30 for this one. Uh, pretty, pretty cheap for the most part. And then um, when you start stepping your game up uh, to get like the, the streams to, to look as, as best as you possibly can. You can get a webcam and um, you don't need a green screen. I'm telling you, like I spent lots of time where I just leave the green screen off and especially during Christmas. If you've seen any of my live streams during Christmas time, you'll see that I have the, the green screen off because I wanted to show the Christmas tree in the background. So that was like the main reason why I didn't care about the green screen. But if I wanted to, I can just leave the green screen like you see right here and whatever. The green screen, I landed up getting it on Amazon. Um, it came with the bundle of this, uh, this light and um, it came with two lights actually. And this was for around $90. So I got that. So I have two of those lights and a green screen that it came with, as well as like a packaging thing in case you wanted to take it on the go or something, which I never do. Something that's, that's really cool to get, if you're really serious about doing console gaming and you wanna get to the point where you have webcams and you make it look a little bit more professional, 
you can get the Elgato, which um, that's my favorite piece of, of, soft, of hardware, is the Elgato, because uh, I know it's dusty as hell, but, <laughs> but the, the Elgato is really, really good because um, what you can do is you can stream everything that's happening onto the PlayStation onto your computer. And I use the software OBS for everything. So OBS is free to use. You can just download that and start using it right off the bat. It allows you to put the webcam, it allows you to like layer things. So you can put webcam, you can put like uh, follower accounts, like you can, you can do so much stuff with OBS. It's pretty ridiculous. If you wanna do layouts on your live streams, you can do that as well. Um, you can also make it so that donations pop up and all these things. So there's a lot of opportunity of things you can do to like increase your your quality i guess but um those are the things that you're really not going to be focusing on in the beginning of your live streaming career you really have to focus a hundred percent of your effort on just purely learning how to do it yourself and seeing if this is a thing for you all right so let me show you a little bit about the obs software so uh it's super super easy to use um let me show you all my layers so i have my playstation 4 so i could even put my playstation 4 on the screen so you can see it there um i have stream labs so whenever like somebody follows or donates or whatever it pops up on the screen as well so that's really cool um you can you can get more detail with it i don't really care to go like all out with the whole layouts and all that big but that's my own personal thing like i don't i don't really care about all those things but if you really do want to do it you have the opportunity to do that so um with the obs software you can record so you can make just regular videos you can edit onto youtube or wherever else and then you also have streaming. So you can also click live stream and stream onto wherever you want, which um, I definitely recommend if you're gonna be uh, looking into this software, I did make a couple videos already on this. So I'm gonna link that in the description. So uh, I have a tutorial on how to make, um, how to get started on live streaming using OBS. And I also, um, I really recommend to, to you guys that you check out Restream IO. That's another piece of, of software that I use, which it's not a piece of software. It's more like just, um, it's a website that, that makes it so that you can stream onto every single platform. So you can stream onto Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, everywhere at the same exact time. You can still monitor your chat from all these platforms at once so that you're never missing out on anything that could be happening on any of these platforms. And I feel like that's the most important thing that you really need to understand about live streaming. If you get viewers actually saying things in your chat, you really, really should reply to them. Um, if you get negative comments, like if you get people just being stupid or, or like cussing you out or being an asshole, um, it's up to you how you want to handle that. But, um, you still want to see like who you want to interact with and who you don't and just kind of like play with it. Just it's all about just experimenting with things. So uh, this is why I really encourage you guys to kind of just go ahead and just start streaming with whatever you have. That way you're not overcomplicating things because there's a lot of people out there that will make it seem like you have to stream at 1080p. 60 fps or 4k or whatever bullshit just to get started and reality is that most people you they they watch their live streams on a cell phone using data so they're not using a wi-fi or anything so the chances of them watching it at, at, at 1080p 60 fps it's very very low because their data can't handle it. It's gonna be buffering all the time, buffer, buffer, buffer. So that's why I really recommend that you keep it as low as possible. Keep your streams, I, I keep mine at seven, uh, 720p 60 FPS. This is literally how my, my screen is set up. I'm on 720p. Like, let me just uh, get out of this game and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's literally on 720p right now. So you see, 1280, 720. I do this because my Elgato, um, I'm using the old Elgato, so this one can't handle 60 FPS unless it's on 720p. So uh, this is why I do this. But um, it's mainly having to do with the PlayStation. Since I'm not streaming on the, to the PlayStation at this current moment in time, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, really matter. I could stream at 1080p, but it really goes back to how are the viewers gonna see this. 
So anyway, when it comes to the OBS stuff, definitely check out that uh, that video I left in the description there because uh, I went into full detail on how to set all that up. So um, then you can definitely check that out. I'm really planning to take this seriously to show you guys everything possible on how to live stream and the things i'm noticing and the things i'm seeing uh, i really want to share with you guys that way you can go ahead and do it yourself and you can make make it happen you know i see a lot of these these uh master classes and all these things coming up where people are actually paying people to show them how to do things like this and I really don't think that it's fair that they're charging you for shit that could be for free. And a lot of this information you can Google and you can go on YouTube for. So I thought that maybe I'll do my part as far as giving you everything that you possibly need to know. So hit me up in the comments if you have any questions of anything you want to see exactly you want me to cover in the future. I will gladly help. And um, anyway... Uh, I hope this video was kind of helpful. I know I kind of jumped all over the place, but um, I'm really, really planning to make more of these and uh, really dig digging deep into each subject. That way we can cover as much as possible. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? Later, y'all.